With Ramos, it had proven to be a good plan. So, why not? Eh? What's happening to my pile of leaves? Now that the gardener was bent over, I could clearly see the shed key. People should really add velvet fingers to my list of nicknames. Hey, you know what? I guess I lost my phone in that pile of leaves. You freaked me out with that damn vibration. I thought it was a mole attack. Hey, not bad at all. Toilet in the same room as the bed? <laughs> Interesting idea. And there was the reason for my raid. The shears were inviting, but I would have felt like a worm depriving the gardener of his best tool. Nah, who am I kidding? I didn't steal them only because they were all rusty. That rope might have been useful if it wasn't rotten from its first to last fiber. I'd have picked up the sprayer if it didn't contain a strange and probably toxic greenish liquid. I don't know why, but I've always had a passion for vaporizers. Flea-bitten, creased, beaten up, old, smelly. The only adjective that didn't apply there was inviting. That clothes stick was too appealing to leave it where it was. Fortunately, it was retractable, so I managed to put it in my coat. I didn't want to rummage through that man's fridge. Who knows what kind of crap I'll find inside. Pebbles and dust, nothing more. The boxes were stacked in no particular order. I didn't know what they contained, and I couldn't be bothered finding out. The toilet seat was up. That was enough to know that no woman had been there for months. Grope a statue made of grass. Why not? Once I found the ingredients, it would become my culinary kingdom. Being very careful, I believed I would be able to grab that piece of parmesan. I had collected all the necessary ingredients for my brief excursion into the culinary world. Now, I could start the actual preparation. My sous chef table was waiting for me. Let's do that. And now, salt and pepper. Now, I just have to follow the recipe step by step. First of all, the meat had to be minced. 
I'd be starting my culinary career by mincing meat for dogs. I put the meat back in the can ready to be used. I must admit that it emitted an inviting aroma. The meat was ready to be prepared. The grater was ideal for, well, grating. Let's start with seasoning. I helped to crack open the egg without breaking it. I've always been really bad in the kitchen. At that point, I turned the griddle on to start cooking. I'd extract the spice from the root using that grater. And now, the final touch. Finally, after a half day of unpaid hard work, our incredible Chef Lazarus had completed his little culinary masterpiece. Now that I think about it, it still seems crazy to interrupt an investigation just to make some meatballs. But part of the reason I'm famous is because I never back down from a challenge. Yeah, not bad for a beginner. Here's your meatball, Chef. I'd give it up whole damn. And you took only half the day to prepare them. Maybe I underestimated you, lightweight. Let's see what you did. Hell, it's formidable. I meant passable, that is. I told you there was a real cook hiding deep inside me. I just had to spread my wings and fly. Can I take a heart now? Suit yourself. I'll see you at 8 o'clock tonight. And be on time. Like a Swiss watch. I had finished in there, and I'd probably never touch another stove again in my life. Just a minute. Lazarus Bundy! What the? Now, I could finally leave. I was all out of ideas. Nothing. Still no trace of that phantom homeless guy, Roger. A good way to enjoy not as good as cream. With what I had with me, I was sure I could scare Lupe to death. I held my breath. Don't look down, Mars. Don't look down. First, I needed to warm her up a bit with words. From the ledge, I could talk to Lupin. It was time to terrorize that poor woman beyond all limits. Ooh. My god, who's there? You know who I am, woman. Uh, 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 Archbishop Molina? As God be my witness, verily it is me. My imitation of medieval language is pitiful. But I never bother taking a course. B but por qué you have come to me? My beauty beckoned me back to this vivid land, and to its call I shan't resist. B but you are a ghost. 
Captain Kurt, so you're alive? Ooh, we can easily remedy that, can't we? She was totally spooked. If the words had opened a crack, the bloody heart would kick the door down. And took off like a race car at the green light. Well, at that point, I had to find something. I had to find it fast before she could call for help. Eric Molsberg wanted to keep me out of his room at all costs, so it had to be hiding something. I sensed immediately, thanks to that irrational sixth sense that always assisted me at crime scenes, that something was hidden in that desk. With the light on, I saw a little engraving in a corner of the desk. Books on oil drilling. High literature. The engraving seemed to resemble the shape of the desk, but every row of drawers was marked by a musical key and a series of Roman numerals. I remembered seeing the sheet music previously on Catherine's piano. What if the musical references were connected somehow? Brush away my doubts, not the floor. The bed was made and it didn't seem to hide anything peculiar. There wasn't anything under there, not even dust. The cleanliness of that house was unnerving. Soapy water in a bucket. <laughs> oh, the smell it exuded made me cry. Nothing interesting in there.
They were mainly books on shipyard management, the economy, the oil market. Their titles alone made me yawn. Mm. The engraving I found on Molsberg's desk contained a musical reference that seemed to match those on the sheet music. I realized that the two clues were connected. The sheet music was the key that would let me unravel the secrets hidden in that desk. I remembered Molsberg's words when he confessed to me that he knew nothing about music. Thankfully, because I was a disaster too. The sheet music, therefore, had to conceal a code not strictly connected to music. The musical notes must have to be interpreted another way. The engraving seemed to resemble the shape of the desk. Ruling out the two erased lines of the pentagram, three remained, each marked by a different musical key. Were the notes on the sheet music a reference to the drawers of the desk? I also noticed something written on top, Allegro Aperto. In music, that means something like a cheerful open. The engraving seemed to resemble the shape of the desk, but every row of drawers was marked by a musical key and a series of Roman numerals. Ruling out the two erased lines of the pentagram, three remained, each marked by a different musical key. Were the notes on the sheet music a reference to the drawers of the desk? I also noticed something written on top, Allegro Aperto. In music, that means something like a cheerful open.
Ruling out the two erased lines of the pentagram, three remained, each marked by a different musical key. Were the notes on the sheet music a reference to the drawers of the desk? I also noticed something written on top, Allegro Aperto. In music, that means something like a cheerful open.